Good morning, horse race enthusiasts. It's Friday, the 24th of November. Uh, today is day two at Tampa. And I um, wanted just to uh, give you a couple of thoughts as it relates to uh, just four races. And as uh, per usual, um, I will go ahead and post uh, my picks on, you know, the comment section related to this specific video. Uh, I'd say uh, opening day, Wednesday. Oh, I uh, hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. What a great holiday for us. I hope everyone had a chance to relax. There were some races, but uh, I know I took some time off. Hopefully you all did too. Uh, regarding Wednesday, I hit uh, Tampa. That was It was nice to get up there and get uh, on track and feel, feel the excitement for opening day. I, I would say around the third uh, race, um, we started getting some drizzle, some rain. So put a little bit of damper on it. But, you know, uh, this isn't a... Um, this is this is a sport for the, the tough-minded, so you have to hang there. And uh, it did it did dry out a little bit, and uh, it was fun. Uh, the races, from the long shot standpoint, I hit the seventh race, number four. And uh, my only regret is I I didn't really load up on it. it was a fifteen-dollar horse, so that, that's nice. But um, it was enough to sort of bring us up for the day. But I probably could have loaded up on it. Uh, looking. Where we are at Tampa, you're so close to the paddock, being able to watch the horses. The four definitely look like the horse to beat, and I was going off at a pretty good rate, so probably should have jumped on that. So, anyhow, moving to Friday, what a, it's another good card. Uh, I like a uh, number of horses. Um, uh, well, first, before we go to get to that, um, so day two, just looking at the jockeys and trainers and that kind of thing, um, I just want to mention that Kevin Kevin Gomez, uh, jockey, uh, Alfon. Alonzo uh, Quinones and then Sammy Camacho both had two two wins on opening day. So obviously they're tied for first. And then uh, Padilla, uh, the trainer Padilla had two two wins. So just following those this year, trying to get a little bit more in tune with the track and how it's running. And sometimes when you look at some of these details, it starts to spell like who's better at certain races. And one of those things, if you don't measure it, if you don't track it, you're not going to draw conclusions uh, from from the incidental um, events that happen in the future. So I uh, just want to uh, mention that. Okay, so now if we're going to picks today at Tampa, let's go right to the first race. I think the horse to beat is the two road to stardom. Um, however, as is my in my case, I kind of like a little niche play here, and that's on the four World of High. Uh, Kevin uh, Rice is the trainer. And if you look at the pedigree, mostly ran on synthetic, you know, and we've got a sand here, and it hasn't run on Tampa. However, uh, it has run a 77, which is above par on dirt for the same level of race. So uh, it puts, that puts it in the, in the race. Now, again, it's going to be a little bit of achievement. Might take the two uh, running a, a, a poorer race in, this, in, the, in the four, actually, you know, running a better race. But uh, look out for that four. I think you're going to get good odds. Morning line is 8 to 1. Now we'll move right to the fourth race. Um, I kind of like, um, from an emotional standpoint, I like the, the Dynaformer offspring. Uh, Dynaformer is the grandsire to the number 10 uh, uh, air report, I think I have, if I spelled it correctly. However, uh, given the odds and a, and a couple of different angles, I'm going to go again with a different one, uh, the 8, Molly's Angel. Uh, you have uh, Araldo and you have Padilla. Uh, both with two wins, so that's jockey trainer. The jockey trainer percentage is 18%. And if you look at the running lines of this horse, it's mostly running on stakes in stakes races. Now, they're not the high top caliber stake races, but they are a better quality horse. So it's running better against better, better horses. Um, it, so you consider this kind of a drop down. I think you'll like the, um, the eight in the, in the fourth race. Cutting to the seventh, um, I think the seventh is an interesting race and maybe the best race of the day. Uh, the reason I say that is you have a sneaky one here and only the real horse players are going to catch it because it's not even in the byline uh, or the horse's running line. But the eight, the favorite, Stormy, Storm the Court, um, is running in this race. It's on, on the turf. Uh, you know, it's what, five and a half, six furlongs on the turf. What, who is Storm the Court? Storm the Court actually won the Ju Breeders' Cup Juvenile uh, three, four years ago. So what I'm, it's curious watching that horse's um, pedig uh, it's, it's, its career. Only has two wins, has over a million dollars won, has been on dirt, obviously, because that's what the juveniles run on, but now is running primarily turf. It seems like a solid turf race uh, horse. Um, 
so you know I'm, I'm curious to watch that race now you know it's only has two wins its whole career so you know I don't know we can stake a lot on it but just it's a curious I like the six outlaw country um, we have Jose um, D'Angelo is the trainer um, and uh, you know I think he does a good job his first after the claim I forget his exact percentage somewhere around 22 25 percent first time after the claim um, but I am going to go with the three. Um, I think the name is W O R G Warg. Uh, synthetic um, is ninety one, so it has a, 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 a compa it's, a, it's kind of screwy log logic here, but it has a ninety one on synthetic given on the same uh, distance. Now this is run on turf. His high is seventy seven. Um, however. Uh, you know that is you know the power on synthetic is there if you were there uh you got a leading jock um and then um the the jockey trainer percentage is 40 percent. so i'm going on that you know it can produce races on other surfaces granted that can win this race uh the jockey trainer percentage is very high 40 percent, and uh they they know what they're doing and i think you get better odds so uh, i'm gonna go with that three in the seventh walk and then in the in the last race, the ninth, I'm going with. Um, uh, I think you have to go with the twelve. I like the nine again, twenty five percent chakra training percentage, but I'm going to go with the twelve. Sir lumps a lot um, right now. Anyhow, um, better odds. Second, uh, this is only the second turf race, so it's bound to improve. And uh, it's closer, going to improve. Thirty eight percent jockey training percentage. So I think that's pretty good. So. Uh, just to summarize, and we'll put this in the comments. The first race, I like the four. The fourth race, um, I like the eight. The seventh race, I like the three. And the ninth race, I like the twelfth. So hopefully uh, you like that. I'm trying to get out to Tampa more often today. You know, day after Thanksgiving was a little little groggy, so uh, didn't make the ride. But um, we'll do it more times than uh, than not. And um, again, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you had a good day at the race this Wednesday. Uh, if you followed those picks, you ended you ended up for the day, but uh, we only had one win out of the, the long shot place. We'll see how it goes today. All right, horse racing enthusiasts, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I look forward to speaking soon. Good luck at the races.